So what's up, hood folks? This your boy Rashad, Jeremy, and today, <laughs> what we gonna do for the mudbang is Wendy's. I got a Southwest avocado salad. Can y'all see it? Cheese, bacon bits. Avocados, well, guacamole, a plate of lettuce, since they give you all toppings and no, I mean, all lettuce and no toppings. And I got some, uh, what is these called? They pub fries. It has uh, beer cheese, I'm where it has beer sauce, which is some kind of cheese probably with beer, has beer in it, I don't know. Bacon, like cut up bacon and uh, some uh, fried onion rings. Y'all see who losing weight and who gaining? Hey, this look good. It's my eating in vain. Uh. <laughs> it's my fat in vain. Uh -huh. These motherfuckers yes. right in my bag. <laughs> of course so. Is it good? Uh -huh. You want to try it? Now, I love my salad. There's my salad. Come back here, bastard. They give you some kind of little Southwest wrench. Southwest wrench. Hey, go to shower. Ew. That's disgusting. And then a regular ranch. And I need one more. I like my salad. I like my salad just like I like my <laughs> wet. Wait. Wait. Now, if you, why well, I did a video a while ago called my top five food habits that I got that most people don't got is I like my salads to be warm warm room temperature but I deal with it today for the sake of a mop my mm. this that good it's probably good let me take them little fry them. go ahead also hood folks I did get me a day's double <laughs> Boy. As well. It, I mean, you got to get a burger to go with the fries. I'm just saying. And like Jeremy was saying. Y'all see why I can't lose weight? Real I bad. like my burgers wet. And I love it with tomatoes, onions, lettuce, pickles. You don't that, like them? And cheese. I don't like cheese and potato like that. Mmm. Mmm. Them onions. Mm-hmm. I said fried onion. I don't like cheese and potato like that. Let me tell you this, bro. You gonna wash your mouth out. Damn, I can't stand to see a 50 mouth ass person. Mm -mm -mm. But yet, your mouth is nasty. Nope. Mm. But anyway, so. This gonna what be you a, gonna talk about today, babe? This is gonna be a little light muck, man. Since, since y'all be like, Rashad like doing them. Mm. What's your favorite? I can't believe me. <laughs> Y'all, we parked in the back of a parking lot of a store, and people managed to still get beside them. And we in the back, are we in the back? Never beside us, and somebody still managed to park right next to us. I'm telling you, when the trench coat mafia, the shooters and stuff get to hold the people, they who they need to get right there. <clears throat> oh no, that ain't gonna happen. Cause most mm -hmm. of the time, what are they? White folk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. What's your favorite TV show from the 90s? My What's favorite that? TV show from the 90s. We only talk about the 90s. We ain't talking about something that came out today. Jeremy, go watch Insecure. Speaking of Insecure, I don't watch Insecure. I never watch the show. But I really, I watched some movie that, uh, what her name is? Issa Rae. Mm -hmm. She look good. And I like her. She got a good personality. Anyway, keep going. What's your favorite show from the 90s? I would probably have to say one of my favorite shows that I used to always watch. Blue yeah, School. Tales from the Crib. <laughs> I used to always watch Tales from the Crib. But uh, also, um, Martin. I used to, I love Martin. Okay. And um, Living Single. 
Which I bet you a thousand million, hundred fifteen dollars. You ain't never watched Living Sin a day in your life. That's a damn lie. So I start watching. That's a damn lie. Okay, what's your favorite Living Sin episode? Um, the one when um, what was it? Hold on. The one uh, when uh, what was it? the one with Sinclair when she was in the naked uh, that naked um, play. play when Naughty by Nature was on the episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good one. My favorite show for the nineties. I already know with Living Singer. I like the Living Singer because. The Golden Girl, not for the nanny. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the living scene because them the kind of friends I wanted. I always wanted them kind of friends. Like the free, the cast from Martin, the way Martin was roast, mm -hmm. roasted his friends. And they roasted each other, but they still had each other back. And the way they were sarcastic with each other on living scene. Them the kind of friends I always wanted. I had them kind of, I had somewhat them kind of friends when I was in school. Me and Puka was here. <laughs> you met Puka, did you? Yeah, I met Puka. A uh, clown. But... I don't got a favorite episode of Living Scene because I like all of them. Like, every episode was funny. All of them were funny. Mm. Also, uh, Cousin Skeeter. Man, where the fuck you was at? Where was I? I ain't never heard of no Cousin Skeeter. Uh, what is that? You never heard of Cousin Skeeter? No. <clears throat> what, the light skinned dude? What's his name? He was on one on one, too. Mm mm. I can't believe he never was about the puppet. It was a, a cousin that moved in with him, but he was a puppet. I don't, I never watched that. Anyway, one on one. That ain't from the 90s. They're from the 2000s. Oh. One on one was okay. I liked that show, but it wasn't from the 90s. Smart guy. That was my show, too. It was, that was funny, too. Oh, now I'll tell you a show from the 90s or late 80s that I couldn't stand it. Everybody loved Hanging with Mr. Cooper. I liked it this show, actually. Me too. <laughs> Family Matter. I hated Urkel. That show was stupid. Even as a kid, I thought that was so stupid. I said, I cannot stand this show. How many folk had that much bad look? I didn't like Family Matter. <clears throat> I do. I think for uh, the Cosby show was better. But I didn't like Family Matter. When I was growing up, I wasn't. You used to follow the Friday fan? When I was I was still mature for my age because I didn't want to watch no damn called Family Matter. I didn't watch uh, the Wayne Brothers. I watched the Waynes. That, that was wasn't funny to me. Show. That was whack. Um, and live in color. That was my show. I watched the live. Do what you wanna do and live in color. Oh, can you eat and live in color? But that one, that show was never funny to me. I don't know how. <clears throat> how it was it? But yeah. So those are a couple of my uh, favorite ones. When I watched the um, the versus battle last night of Brandon Monica, after I got through watching it, I kind of felt, even though you know it was a you know just a uh, they just celebrate music, I still kind of felt depressed because I missed the I missed being young. When I say young, like being in high school. When, now when I was in high school. I wanted to get the hell out of high school. Like, I can't wait to get grown. I'm gonna be on my own. Fuck living at home, listening to my mama. And now that I'm grown and doing what I wanna do, watching that damn Autumn Brandon song, the Monica song that night, I just wanted to be a teenager again. Like, sitting in my room with my on my phone, calling all my clanmates, playing on the phone, calling for how, hanging up on them. Watching <laughs> Moesha. Watching Moesha. Moesha. Was good, Moesha is a good show too that I used to watch. Watching them show, playing on the phone, calling people, <sighs> breathing in the phone hard. That was fun. Did you ever do that? Mm -hmm. I used to do the all that. That's so bad. I feel now I feel bad with that. But as a kid, that was so funny. Calling for phone, breathing the phone. Hello. I remember we played practical joke with this old lady when I was young. I hope I don't get no trouble. Well, I don't give a fuck. Call this old lady one time. Hello. I said, hello, this is somebody calling from the front home. You want a free turkey? I want a turkey? How do I get it? I said, bitch, you got to die first. And we laughed so hard with that. <laughs> That's so fucked up. But not, that was funny then, but not as mean. But the simplicity. 
you know, when you go hang out with your friends, you ain't got to worry about being on the phone. Ain't got to worry about taking pictures, being live on Facebook, live on YouTube. You know, just hang out with people because you didn't have nothing. And on the phones you had, there was well, basic phone right. with no nothing on it. The I miss that. Kids with the little light up uh, batteries that you could put in. And when somebody call you, you always tell somebody, hey, <laughs> you be on the phone. Hey, hang up. Let me uh, call me right back. <laughs> Just so they can see the little light blink on the back. Of <laughs> <laughs> I miss all that. I miss all that the simplicity in life. Now they like so. People have made life so complicated. Right? It, it ain't they don't even, even have the light up batteries anymore. Who's light up batteries? That you put in the phone and it was a battery, but when somebody called you or you got a text message, they light up. Like what year that came out? Cause I don't remember that. Hood uh, folks, y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, we are two do two different generations. What about six years? I'm the one that bought that burger. I thought you were eating your salad. I thought you were eating healthy. I am eating healthy. This salad is good. Let me tell you. Hmm. You want to trade food? That burger's good. That burger is good, but. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. Instead of good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I wanted to avocado don't taste better than mine, but I want to taste that old salad from chicken filet. <laughs> chicken filet. Mm -hmm. I want to taste the taste with chicken filet, but it was <laughs> mm -mm. They lying was on today. The they ain't had time to wait. Cause we just left. We just left the grocery store and get some stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you seen our vlog for the week, you'll know exactly what we got for the grocery store. But um we just left the grocery store. And they had time sitting there waiting on no line on no chicken filet. And I know a chick filet. You don't gotta be like, oh chick filet. You know, I miss people minding their own business. Them were the good days. When people just mind their own business. But, but like what's up? me and my homeboys. What's up? This a mutt man. Why the fuck do you eat so homeboys. bad? What are you talking about? Well, I haven't eaten anything all day since I got my hair cut. I woke up, took a wipe off. A wipe off? I miss taking a wipe off for you. Ooh. I'm gonna tell y'all this, and most people say this. I'm not embarrassed if nothing happened in my life, I swear. Back in the day, <laughs> we didn't have no plumbing in our house back when I was real young. I missed them days because it was more, it was so, what you call the word I'm looking for? It made you appreciate things. But before we got plumbing, boy, we had to take them sink wash off because we're no shower, but get, get, take the print that water and put that water in the sink, get that wash out, get up on your arm, down between your lips, and then that ass and wash your face, and you clean. You hit all the spot. I watch that's, out. That's country. That's country living for you. I miss country living. I, I, I miss I, country I never, living. I never got to experience that because we, you know, being from a, a small city, they had plumbing. So, yeah, I didn't never get to, you know. But you know that is country life, so I understand. But I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but I miss living. I miss doing that. Then we had to go to the boat well when we were younger, get our water. There were, and we used to drink water right at the boat well. We ain't had to worry about no filter. But I guess nowadays people doing it. I guess they were doing everything in the water back then, but now it's even extreme. Using the bathroom in the water and bodies and oh, get sick just don't think about that. But I don't want to think about that. But the water so uh, contaminated now. Because all the product, new products and stuff that they came out with. Do y'all really feel like do y'all feel like nowadays for real that people <clears throat> Really that life, be good, that life is not so hard. It's just people make life so hard. I believe that. And that also, uh oh, I was trying to make this a light vlog. Not some coming in my spirit. To I still trying to make this a light vlog. I mean, a light mukbang. Cause I want mukbangs to be fun, but I want to talk serious. But anyway, but do y'all feel like stuff like religion has really like? mess people up so bad you know people everybody want to be a different religion a different cult a different belief system and since everybody got a different belief system a different mindset that it kind of like messes up life make everything so complicated or you can't do this or you shouldn't do this or whatever do y'all feel like that too you feel like that richard um yeah i do because i believe that if religion wasn't a, uh, um if religion wasn't so powerful as it is I mean, people, you still have your belief, but it's not as powerful as it is. I think racism would have been over with, to be honest, because you'll have more people revolting against it and really making a stand for it. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you just have people who uh, say, no, you're supposed to forgive and forget. No, you can't forgive and forget because 
it happens. You know, something happened. They kill somebody. You forgive them. They feel, okay, cool. A couple of months, a year down the road, they kill somebody else. Oh, y'all going to forgive me this time. Nah, and that's how they get, you know, people use, people use religion to their advantage. And they continue to use it because they see that, you know, they don't hear, get backlash for it. So they're going to continue to use it and use it and use it until, you know, they get, you know, they, you know, somebody hand them their ass and tell them, you know, no, nah, you, this not what that is now. <clears throat> you know, this not, this not happening. Right. Like it used to be. Nah, that, 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 we going to stop this. But as long as it's still the way it is today, nothing will ever change. And that's all I'm saying. I think so too. And plus, I don't understand a lot of Christian. I think Christianity out of all religion was the worst thing for black people. Now, when I say I'm, I believe I'm a low key Christian now because I was raised Christian. And all, uh, look at they do with their Walmart. Look at that. Yeah, look bad now. Anyway, I'm. Full beard. Kind of I'm all. Uh, why do I care what that dude? We talking about Christianity. <clears throat> Rashad's a demon. The devil, you, Rashad, to get me off track. No. Anyway. I'm a low-key Christian now. I grew, I grew up Christian and whatever, but when you think about Christianity, they push now that forgiveness and turning the other cheek and all this stuff, which is, I mean, I guess that's good, but how do people read the Old Testament? Because Christians love both, they love to throw up all the Bible, but right. they read the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, I mean, people were fucking people up in the Old Testament. Samson, they love to holler about Samson. God giving the strength to Samson, but Samson committed suicide because he asked God for strength to take out a whole bunch of people that was, I guess, making fun of him. And then he killed himself in that situation. Look how God drowned all the people in the Red Sea. The wall of Jericho fell down and people crushed them to death. People were stoned to death. Pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea. You know what I'm saying? All this murder and beheading and stoning people to death that went on back in the Bible days in the you know in the Old Testament. Then you come along with the New Testament. Now we need to turn over the cheek, forgive. See that though, see that kind of stuff that they confuse me. Not confu I ain't gonna say confuse me. That kind of stuff that make me think like, hmm, some some is fishy about all that as well. And also you y'all, I know a lot of y'all gonna get upset. Oh, I know. I'm already mad. But <clears throat> but okay, so we as the black community we sit there and we forgive these uh, cops and these racist folks who kill our people or attempt to and they hurt them real bad. Oh, we forgive you. But in the turn it around, you flip it. If a black man was to kill a white person, no matter if it's a man or a woman, that family is not going to forgive him. That family going to sit there and say, oh, I hope he suffer. If I could, I would I would shoot him myself. I would kill him myself because he killed my uh, family member. They don't say turn the other cheek. They don't say, oh, we forgive you. No, they want revenge on your ass. And that's the funny thing about it is that y'all sit there and want to forgive and forget of some heinous crimes is what you know a lot of folks, uh, especially the racist folks and the cops are doing nowadays. Y'all want to forgive and forget that. But the white folks not doing the same thing. And then when that situation happened, you say forgive and forget the white person say, yeah, yeah, he deserve it. He deserve it. He shouldn't have did that. Y'all will say that to a black man who killed a white person. Oh, he deserved that. He deserved to go to jail and all that. But then when a white person kills a black person, oh, don't worry about it. We forgive you. We forgive you. Save us. Don't worry about it. Y'all going to hate this. I don't give a fuck. It's just my opinion and just how I see things. So, yeah, live with it or just don't say shit about it. Don't comment. Oh my God. I, I told you. <laughs> and y'all be thinking, I be going off. I'm just saying. Ooh, Al Sharp shit over here be going off the boat. <laughs> All right, Jesse Jackass. <laughs> Either way, we supposed to be making a. <laughs> We both been making a fun mukbang. We supposed to be getting serious. Motherfucker getting on my damn nerves lying about my truck. Anyway, who folks, so those, we supposed to be talking about uh, our favorite show for the 90s. <laughs> Which we did a little bit. That ain't no show for the 90s. What show for the 90s all But you know what I miss? Bring it on back around. Because I don't want to take it too serious. We want to get the back light. You know this on. Oh my God, dude. Why do you always shit on yourself in these seats? <laughs> you need to fake. That's what the spray is for. <laughs> my God. 
Anyway, Woo. did you know that back in the 90s, a lot of the black TV shows, every time they had all kind of black college universities on the shirt, different black universities, you don't see that on TV no more. No, no TV show advertised that. It's like, it's just crazy, though. I just, it, it's funny how now that things have changed, a lot of times, I think a lot of people wish they could go back to when it was simple. But I don't. I think it's impossible to go back when it was simple. It's just like if I told, if I come out now and say oh, it's possible. I think it's impossible. When you do something, it, you can't go back to it. I feel. The only thing it takes is just for the world to go through some kind of catastrophe, the whole world, and just shut everything off. Then what? Corona and then supposed to be right? Start it over. I'm talking about as far as like some kind of major storm or or, or major incident where it just completely just destroys the. Uh, your communication grid and all the electrical devices and stuff like that, and you have to start over. But that won't, I mean, that's not gonna happen in our lifetime. But. I don't need them. I don't need, and I don't think, speaking of our lifetime, man, don't leave that thing alone. You're so annoying. <laughs> I just prayed some Anyway, water. um, I don't think we're in the last days. A lot of people think we're living in the last days, but I'm telling you, slavery. All the stuff that happened in the past when people were really, it was legal, it's legal to hang people, murder people, rape, all the stuff in the past. If that wasn't last day's word, the stuff that happened today is not last day's word. I personally believe we're in the last day, but if you believe we're in the last day, we're in the last day. If you believe you should vote, you should vote. If you believe in gay marriage, you should do it. Whatever you believe in, believe in, we all have our own opinion. I can say this, and this is just my opinion. Oh, God. Anyone who's 21 and up. We already said that last time. How no. you gonna try to take over my sand? What I know, I said, but anybody with just twenty one and up won't won't see the end of the days. The end of days. What do you mean? Because it ain't gonna. Or it, the world is not gonna come to an end. I'll even go further. I say from the age of six and up, nobody that's living that's six years old to ninety nine or ninety a hundred, they're not gonna ever see the end of days when the world comes to an end. Mm. I think we got. Ooh. I think we got about two or three, maybe four more centuries to go before the world really comes to an end. I don't think the world gonna never come to an end. Nah, it's nah, keep it will. Now nah, it, it will. It I don't will. think it'll be in our lifetime. But either way, that's what I'm on our mind for the day. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. Damn, I wasn't even through talking. I was tell you about. I was telling them about last night what we did in the bed together. We don't need to tell him about that rump shaking and. Busting that was going on. I'm talking about going to sleep. We ain't do oh. none of that. What are you talking about? Oops. What was I when you did all that? <laughs> oh, look, Timmy. <laughs> you think you look like Bubba Baxter, you big dumb and Fred Sanford foot having motherfucker. Oh, uh, shut the hell up, Ruben. No stutter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, so in the comments, two things we ask you in the comments. Number one, tell us what's your favorite TV show from the 90s. It don't have to be a black show, even though, you know, we black. But it don't have to be just a black show. If Friends, what's your favorite show? Then Friends, what's your favorite Friends, show? Friends, how many of them had them? <laughs> if Seinfeld was your favorite show, say Seinfeld your favorite show. Just tell us what's your favorite show and why. And also, how do y'all feel about the world coming to the end? Do you think we in the last days? I personally don't. If you think different from me, that's okay. We don't get mad if you think different from us. Just don't tell us that what we should think and how you think, okay? And this Saturday for winning is good. All right, hood folks, so like, comment, and subscribe, and then press that ugly ass bell button to get notified whenever we put up new videos, new com you know, commentary, posts, whatever. And we will have, well, you should have been and got a new poll for the week. Yeah. And speaking of the poll, let me just say this first. When you look, when we put the poll up about what y'all want to see, y'all don't have to debate like who's going to win. If he win every week, it's cool. Pick the food that you think that sounds good to you that you want to see cook. Even right. though he, if he might win, it's cool. If I win, it's cool. Y'all, it ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. <laughs> it ain't that serious. All right then, hood folks. Peace. No. This is a mutt, man. I'm still eating. You eat your food up too fast. I mean, you it's like your mouth is a micro, I mean, a, a vacuum cleaner. You just suck. You just suck up all the food all so fast. Damn, you eat too fast.